Good morning, boys and girls. It's Friday. Yup. Here it goes. Look through my window and who do I see? Esmeralda, Eliani, and Violet looking at me. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. And I hope that you are too. Look through my window and who do I see? <clears throat> Julian, Sophia, and Matthew looking at me. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. And I hope that you are too. Look through my window and who do I see? Gracie, Matthew, and Justin looking at me. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. And I hope that you are too. Look through my window and who do I see? Ariadna, Elemen, and Pablo looking at me. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Look through my window, and who do I see? Darwin, Mr. Rodriguez, what? Looking at me. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What month is it today? I hope you learned it. November, November, November. November begins with the letter N. What sound does N make? Mmm. It's like biting your tongue. Mmm. All right? No. No begins with November. What's the last letter in November? R. What sound does R make? R. Let's go to the middle of the word. What two letters are here? What's this letter? E. And what's this one? M. What sound does E make? Eh, eh, eh. What sound does M make? Mmm. Like when you like something, it's yummy. Mmm. All right, so those are the letters we're focusing on. Ready? Cuenta. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Muy bien. Seis. Now in English. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Very good. Six. So six is one digit, and we're going to learn how to write it. Listen, listen, listen. Listen to me. Ready? Around and around in a circle you go. That's a six, just as you know. Around and around in a circle you go. That's a six, just as you know. So today is Friday, November 6, 2020. Say it with me. Today is Friday, November 6, 2020. And... What's the weather? What's the weather? What can it be? What can it be? Does anybody know? Does anybody know? What can it be? What can it be? So what's the weather outside? We're in the season of fall. What's the weather outside? Yes, it will be sunny at times, but the cloud will come and cover at some times. So it's going to be partly cloudy, partly. Yes, we're in the season of fall. Excuse me. And this is what you're supposed to wear, a sweater. 
We don't know if it gets a little chilly, but it is partly cloudy and cool or maybe warm. You might think it's warm and I, I think it'll be warm in the afternoon. So let's say it again. It is partly cloudy and warm. Warm means you can just wear a little sweater jacket. It doesn't hurt wearing it. And you need to take care of yourself. If there's something that I'm very happy with this group of Pre-K 102 is that those who are sick stay home. They don't come to school sick. And they get really better quickly. And I've noticed that the mask has helped with you not spreading your germs and getting other people sick. So that's a positive of wearing the mask when we go to school. But I also am very happy that you have been attending every single day of school. And I'm proud of you for that. And if you don't go to school, I've noticed that you go online, which is two thumbs up, not one, but two. Those of you who are virtual, you've been there since day one. I'm still waiting for Darwin. Darwin, hello. Where are you? Darwin? Because somebody needs to remind him to be with us live virtually at 11 o'clock and 2 o'clock. The rest of you, we are going now into something that's called parent-teacher conferences very soon. Mm-hmm. I'll start putting report cards in next week. <clears throat> so, when is Parent Teacher Conference? It'll be on the first week of December. Most likely, um, it won't be in person because parents are not allowed to be in the building. So, it'll be virtual. Um, those of you who come to school, you will get grades. And those of you who are virtual will not get grades, but you already have grades as you've been doing all the work that we do on Google Classroom. So if you've been handing everything in Google Classroom and you've been sending a picture or you have been uploading all of what I need you to upload, you are good. Why? You are working. You are doing your schoolwork. And I see some virtual students even doing extra work, which is what we send to you at the beginning of the month for the whole month. That's like applause to you. Because if you're able to do that on top of what we give you, you are a superstar student. Now, here's what's going to happen as we go in to the month of November. Next week, we will have a Veterans Day day off, which will be Wednesday, November 11th. There will be no school, and we will be celebrating Veterans Day. If you don't know what Veterans Day is, please listen to the videos next week so that you know what it is about. But what I am worried is about your letters and sounds. I have not received any video from Eliani or Esmeralda or even Violet and Darwin about the letters and sounds. You have the foundations chart that we do every day. And today I'm not going to do it because this is about you putting yourself in check. Every day you have to go over the letters and the sounds. Every day you have to do this because SMART is not something that you just pick it up and then go and that's it. No, you have to practice every day. Once I test you and I know that you know what you know, then we can do something different. Then we can go on to something a little bit more kindergarten than pre-K. Right now, we want you to learn how to write your name. Right now. We need you to learn some of the letters and some of the sounds. Right now, we need you to count. And if you can count beyond 10, good. If you can count beyond 15, better. 
And if you can count beyond 20, woo, you are ready for kindergarten. So there's a lot that needs to be done. You need to know your shapes. We talked about it this week. We need you to draw, and I need to see it that you are drawing the pictures, that you are doing the work. Last year, I had a girl who did not talk at all through the whole school year. Her name is Ruth. And Ruth, when we went in quarantine back in March, she demonstrated that she was really into the writing. She not only learned how to write her name, she knew how to draw beautiful, beautiful pictures. She got to the point that she had nice conversations with her dad without she knowing that she was being recorded. I have to say, none of you are impossible to learn. You are smart. You started smart in September. We already went through September, October. Now we're going to November. You got to shine. Not for me. Don't do it for me. Don't do it for mommy and daddy. Do it for yourself. Learn the letters and sounds. Learn how to write your name. Learn how to write the numbers. Learn how to count. Learn how to draw. Learn how to read. Because all of that that I'm teaching you, boys and girls, I didn't know that. When I was your age, I didn't know any of that. I didn't even know how to talk. So where I come from, I'm coming from not even knowing how to talk or speak. Boys and girls, please love school. Do your homework because it's going to make you the best of you. You are smart. Don't let anybody change that in you. Really believe in it. Smart is something you are. Smart is not something you are, I'm sorry. Smart is something you get.